Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from CyberLab, and today will be another video about Home Assistant. In this video specifically, we're gonna show the difference from this and this, and you're gonna ask what it's both. Basically both for its use for get a smart light in your house. Imagine that you want to choose the conventional lamps that you only buy normally in the markets, and you don't want to choose get this one, a smart lamp, because normally these ones cost two, three pounds, and the smart ones cost 20. 10 pounds. So imagine that you don't want to buy all the lamps in your house. You only want to change it. So in this way, you have these two options and you're gonna explain which one is better, which one's worse, what's the difference between those and test it. But first thing, this one, the difference that they work with Zigbee. So you can have uh, it local working, not necessary to have an uh, internet connection or you can connect directly to the cloud as well. And this one, it's Wi-Fi. So this one, you must connect Wi-Fi and must connect to the cloud to control it. So it's not uh, basically local, but with Home Assistant, you can connect to the cloud and make all your automizations. So in this way, when you go to decide which one that's better, which one that will fit more for application, when you start to make more automization in your house, you can understand a little bit more about it. So if you like this idea and you want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and let's understand a little bit more about it. So before I start to test it and explain how it's work better, let's go for the basic. This one, it's a snuff controller where you use Wi-Fi. The module, it's a D1 and the, the, the function for it is dimmable. So you can control the intensity of your light. Of course, you're not gonna work with those standard ones. You need to get some lamps that it's a simple dimmable. But in this case, how it's gonna work? Basically, they will have a different resistance and that will input this information for the lamp and that it will be a 10%, 50%, 100% of your light. What's the problem for this one? This one, they require the neutron. So this one have only three connections. What it means that the first one will be the positive or the phase, the second one will be the neutron and the last one will be return for the lamp. So if you have a old installation and you have only look like the normal socket that you can have the positive and the return, this one will be a problem because once that you switch off your system, this one is stop to work or this one, they don't have connection anymore for the internet. Totally different from this one. This one, it's required. This one is a little bit different. They don't have dimmable, so you cannot control, the, you can only turn on and turn off the lamps, but this one, you can have uh, no neutral required. What it means that you have the line in, line out, so it will be the positive in, positive or the return for your lamp, and that they will connect the neutral to the lamp, to the resistance of the lamp. And here we have S1 and S2. This S1 and S2 will be function as a interrupter or a switch box. So either that you switch off your system, this one is still connected for internet or is still on all the time. So either way that you switch off your system, this one is still on all the time. Why this one is interesting? Because either that you switch your socket, they will work. Either way that you have all the installation that you have only the positive and the return for your lamp, this one is still working and is still good to do all the functions. So in this way, now we're gonna jump in the computer and try to understand a little bit more about the system that I'm using and what condition that I'm doing before we can start to test it. What's my idea? I will explain everything and that I will put two lamps there. One that will be connect directly for this box and one will be connected for this box and we're gonna compare this speed. Remember, this one will only work for cloud. This one will work for local and that uh, you don't need to necessarily have an internet connection, but both will work for cloud for these tests, to be fair. So now let's jump for the computer and I will explain me a little bit more about it. Here in my screen I have uh, two lamps, two controllers. The first one will be control this lamp and that in this way you can have a Zigbee connection and the second one will be this one. And we're gonna try to monitor how long it takes. But before I start to do it, let me go for the basics. Here in my settings, my integration, so here I have all my integrations. The first integration that I could use is this USB Zigbee, but I don't want to use it because I want to have a cloud base for both conditions. In this way, I'm sure that I'm using fair comparison. Otherwise, you're gonna say, Alan, this one is don't have the latency to go all the data from your device to the cloud and come back to turn on it. This reason that maybe this one will take longer or this one will take longer. So in this way, I get the application directly first off 
And here, if I come here in the configure, the cache for is not. If I come here in device, I have a series of device that's connected for my system. Here will be my 3D printer, where I can come here and turn on my 3D printer and turn off my 3D printer in the same way. But I have different setups. So some of those will be directly connected for Wi-Fi and some of those will be connected for the Zigbee. But all of those work in the cloud and that will transmit the information for my system to the cloud and back for my house. What will take a little bit longer. So have this one in mind. We come here, we go in our lamps and we're going to control it. But before control, I will set up everything in the back and that I can explain a little bit more about it. Remember, this one, it's not a, a video how you can install this or how you can install it. It's only to explain the difference of about it. If you're not sure what you're going to do with any socket or any light, don't do it because it's quite dangerous and you can have some serious issues. So we're only going to explain and I will make a temporary connection. Don't do it. It's not the correct way to connect the system, but at least for you to understand a little bit more about it. So let's put the lamp in the back. As I promised, both lamps is there. In my left side, or that one in the top of the printer, is the one that is connected directly to my Z-Wave controller. And the one that is here in front of the screen is the one that is connected by Wi-Fi. So in this way, I can come here and press a button, and they will turn on, and they will turn on. And here, turn off, and turn off. So if I compare both, I will turn on, turn on. Both turn on really fast, and that's it, turn off. This one turn off fast, the other one dim down, so they will take a little bit longer. So looking for this one, I don't see any problem, any difference between both. But suppose that I turn off both for the energy. So either that I press here, they don't have energy to start. They still have some battery only to keep it going, but they don't have energy at all. So what I can do, imagine that now I turn on the system, and that I try to turn on both. If I want to compare, imagine that uh, the light, I put the switch box there and I turn off all the light. So in this way, it's totally off. I will turn on the system and I start to light both. What will happen? If you look there, this one will start much early than the other one. Sometimes this one, you need to click again because this one is a simple system. Connect directly for the Zigbee, they have less information to input. Compare for Wi-Fi, they need to connect, start the system. After you start the system, they need to look for the Wi-Fi cloud and that's your edge connect. After this one, of course, both it's going quite well. Maybe one of those will be a little bit faster to turn off, but it's not a problem. But if I want, I turn off both really fast. If turn off the energy, both stop. So what's the difference? Because this one, you don't need to have any neutral required. So it's an advanced my point because you don't need to have a neutral compared for the other one that's tenable, but you need to always have neutral and you need to change your system. So I hope that you like this video. In this way, you have a little bit more understand what's the best option for you to choose. If you go option A or B, if you go for Wi-Fi connection or ZigBee. If you don't have problem to change your installation system, you can go easily for the Wi-Fi connection where it's recorded in neutral. But if you have a little bit, uh, don't want to move any system, don't want to change the cables, don't want to do a lot of things, yes, maybe the Zigbee normally will be the best option because don't require neutral. Other thing, always you can have different system. So instead of you have those normal sockets, you can have a little bit different. In this way, you don't control the socket to turn on or cut energy, but only to turn on and turn off the system. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel if you're not yet, and see you next time. Bye.